Hey, yo, Chicos and Chicas, it's Katie, and today I am back again with chapter three of The Last Door. So, without further ado, let's get it started. All right. All is darkness. All is cold. All is silence. Um, what is happening here? Hmm. Wow. Skipperino. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see how far I want to scroll. I guess I'll stay right here. That's probably good. Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother deceased, arrangements have been made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at the St. Gall Boarding in Aberdeen. You not, need not bother to write, as I will not have time to read your letters. Still no letters for you, Seth. Please don't do not persist any further. Hmm. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Hmm? Him? Oh, that's just David Or Seth, my bad. <laughs> Pay no mind. He's a little odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. This is my first term here. I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends. What, what is happening? Ticket. My heart at all. Oh man, I, I missed it. Damn it. Eyes close, ears muffle, and voices hush in the land that loves silence. Where in the heck am I? Where am I right now? I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? He's going back to walking slow again. Cheapest potatoes in town. Young man, could you please tell me where I am? Okay.
Please, sir, could you give me some water? This ain't a charity, Toph. I only sell to paying customers, so cough up or get out. Well then. There is a cart blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass unless it has been moved. An indigent in ragged clothing sits leaning against the brickwork. Okay. The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Huh. A young woman suffers difficulty breathing. Jeez, must be in the slum part of the town. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk. Jeez. There is a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why, this is old Nickel Street Rookery. A darker, more decrepit place like never what like never there was. But that's in London. How could I arrive in the slum? That man just went in there. Guess I'll just go here. From the pipe flows grimy water full of soot. The stench from this sewer drain is nauseating. Huh. Do I go back? Um... So what do I do? The water's foul odor is repulsive, but I am over overcome with thirst. Ugh. I don't intend to drink it again, it had an awful taste. Is he looking in it? Oh, he just fell out. I must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in old Nichols at night. I should make my way out as quickly as possible. All right, let's head out then. Where should we go? Um, let's see. Yeah, now you're picking up that pace, aren't you? All right, so do we go back inside? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. The day will not come when I am consigned to such a hole, but not today nor any such day as I am fit and able to prevent it. So you're not going inside. So where are you going? Fucking hell. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Go back. I can't see anything beyond this wall, but the, but the dark facades of buildings on the other side. So... Where exactly do you think we're supposed to go? Because, uh, I don't, oh, wait. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Her Dr. Wake Wakefield is here to see you, Mon Hare. My, mine Hare, whatever. 
show him in hers. Is it air? I don't know. It is about your patient, is it not? There is no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for his last sessions. I've been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me that he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He left. He kept his, the destination to himself. Then it is happening as I feared. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with her Seth, but I didn't want to upset you without need as I hoped for the best. Now I am afraid my suspicions could be true. There are some things that I will have to verify first though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, Herr Doctor, it is of the utmost importance that no one else knows of this matter. You have my total discretion. Hmm. Chapter three, the four witnesses. All right. I feel like I have been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of this labyrinth. All right, so we have multiple options here. We have this way, this way, and this way. Let's start with this direction first. Do you hear them? It's the crows, searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Could you help me? These streets are so confusing to navigate. I'm afraid I have lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one. I can give you direction. I have been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be opened? I haven't a penny to pay you. Money is, no, of, is of no matter here. Come close to me now. The mask. Empty eyes stare at you with a vo and a voiceless mouth calls you. Its lips twist and snarl with what is with what it has seen. What it what is still to be seen? You think it is a stranger's face, but it is your own. Huh. The scream. It begs you to escape. Mute, it shrieks your lost name, sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one of you know. Is of one you know? I don't know if I said that right, whatever. The dying star. You lost your guide. You follow the stream, but you do not know where it goes. You think you have escaped, but actually you are getting closer and closer. I don't understand. What does it all mean? I can't unpick these ends. These, the threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But... You will. Oh, yes, you will. I can do no more. That is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we only see what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of bird. No more direction can I give. Pardon me, I'm, I must go. You will need a map to guide your steps. Farewell. Rusty old lamp sits in, sits in empty in the corner. No, it, does, it doesn't belong to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it will do you without any oil, though. All right. Oh, is that mystery man? Who is this man? The gate is latched shut, shut. I can't open it from this side. You may keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike encrusted jewels. Stay there as you will. 
and stare into my eyes. I am a shadow of shadow and will not disappoint. Uh, something tells me I shouldn't be in here. The, oh, the sewer is flooded here with an ankle deep of pool of water. Patches of oil so, so, uh, swirl on its surface. Well, give me some of that oil. Give me some of that oil. Oil. Scoot over. Give me some dang oil. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going deeper in there. I'm, I'm turning around. Let's see where that man went. What is up with you? Shit. Nah, it's dark. It's very dark. I don't dare to go on. Oh yeah, that, I know that's right. Turn around. See, so Seth is a smart man. He knows when to turn around and when to keep going. But we have to find some oil. It's just rubbish, rotten scraps of food and discarded papers. Fuck. Where do I get oil from then? Hope I'm not getting lost. The boarded up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass preventing me to see from seeing the interior. Let's head on in then. Go on. Um, cuts of rancid meat lie discarded on the butcher's block. Um, num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. Okay, let's see. Uh, a metal plate is planted in the wall. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was a bolt hole. The, ho the remains of a horse hang by a hook affixed to the wall. Its blood drains seeping into the floorboards. Hmm? The heck? All right. You know what? Forget it. I'm out. Probably shouldn't even be in here anyway, so I'm out. All right, let's... Let's go back to from where we came from. All right. So, okay. All right, so let's see. We go this way. We go this way. All right. This is so confusing. Something doesn't feel right about this. Hmm. I'm gonna stand right here and see if I can figure this out. Hold on. I need to see where I can get some oil. So, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so, um, let's see.
the four witnesses. I wonder how it got in my pocket. The four witnesses, a ticket to see a play called The Four Witnesses. Okay. Okay, so... Um, I don't see. Okay. I have to retrace my steps. I'm going to follow the walkthrough that, that they have from where I met the gypsy lady. So I have to retrace my steps. Because apparently I missed something. So I need to go back to the gypsy lady and retrace my steps. All right, so we're here. So we have the lamp. And now we go this way. We go here. We went in here. But it's too dark. So we leave. Okay. So now we go this way right here. Perfect. So now we go right here. All right. Okay, we're back in the butcher shop. All right, so apparently we have to do something with these bars. So let's see, we have to do, all right, let's see. We have to do these bars again, so. So we do this. So they're, supposed to be, they're all supposed to be horizontal. So let me see if I can just get all of them standing back up somehow. All right. So we go two, one, four. Bam. So now we go here. All right, so let's see what we got in here. A bottle of gin. It's empty, but it may be of some use. Let's get that. All right. This machine is old and in disrepair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine. Despite its condition, it seems to have been used just recently. Huh. All right. So uh, let's see. Is there anything else? This it's a glass essentier. Liquids are poured into the top and then purif impurify imp. Then impurities removed through a valve at the bottom. Okay, there's nothing else here. Nothing else that we need to look at here, so we're just going to get on out. All right. So now we're out. All 
Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to go back. All right, so now we can get some oil. I collected some of the oily water in my gin bottle. All right, so now we can use the oil on the lamp. This water can say, oh, we gotta go back. We gotta go back and do that, uh, go to the machine. We gotta go back to that machine. So, let's get this over with. All right. Oh, nope, no, 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 wrong place. Wrong place. All right, so, how in the hell did we get to the, to the machine? Let's go out of there. Let's go back up here. Uh, is it this way? Um, let's see. Uh, is it this way? No, okay, let me see. What did I do? I have to retrace my steps again. Fuck. Hate when I get lost. Alright, so I gotta retrace my steps again. Because I got lost. Alright. Huh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so we, I gotta go back to that. Okay, so I think it's this way. We go this way. He went in here, so I think we go here. And then we go here? Nope. We go here, right? Perfect. All right. So now we go back to that place and use, we go back to that area and we use, we use this thing. Okay, oil the water, put it in there. I pour the contents of the bottle into the incensor. The oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, I will drain the water until all the water has been removed. Oh, okay, that's it. I extracted all the water. Only, now only the oil remains. I fill the lamp with oil. I hope it will be enough to last the night. Perfect. All right, so now we get out. Because we have what we need now, so we have our lamp now, so that should be good. So this time, um, we go out. All right. So I think now we can venture back into that into that uh that house that the uh the guy had went to. So let's head on back there, shall we? Though the embers look though look as though they'll soon distinguish extinguish their mere warmth is welcome. There we go. Now we have a lit lamp. 
which is perfect. So now we can go back. All right. This portrait of a gentleman with a distinct look seems vaguely familiar. Huh. All right. An old bottle of St. Emilian St. Uh, Grand Cru is covered with dust. All right. So let's go here. Or not. I thought there was something that I could check. Oh, okay. An old worn out coat hangs on the rack. In one of its pockets is a pair of gloves. Give me them. Thank you. All right, so let's go upstairs. A bright meadow. The picture has faded to a dull color. All right. Let's go in. Now my eyes focus in the gloom. I can see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed up as a young girl for some reason. She appears to not hear me you or see me from here. I'll need to get closer if I am to explain myself. All right. There's something amongst the embers. Put them gloves on and let's see. It's a spherical piece of metal. A doorknob? Huh. Okay. Let's speak to this lady over here. No, I don't want to dance and sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Actually, madam, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Ah, uh, don't you recognize me? No, madam, I'm afraid I do not. I'm very sorry. Oh, no, no. Not at all. It's fine. It's been a while since I last performed, I suppose. But you don't forget it. I'm a little. I'm a great little cat. Uh, I'm great. I'm the great little caddy, singer, dancer, the golden girl of London's music halls. I want to get out of this place. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there. You see. In the fog, there are no faces. I'm looking for a gentleman. He's well-dressed with red hair. Do you know him? He led me to this place. No, father. I have been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I have behaved very well today, haven't I? Let's play. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. Um, why? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? What? One, Two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? What? Oh, shit. 
One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Holy shit. What the hell is happening right now? <laughs> One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? One more song. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, wow. What the blazes just happened? My head, it's pounding. And where did she go? Oh, holy shit. The pile of things on the floor after Maddie's disappearance. Caddy's disappearance. There is a mask. Oh, hey. It's a porcelain mask. It fell. It broke when it fell. The distorted figure features. There is a grotesqueness to it. I don't like to look at it. I don't either. Put it down. And look underneath the mask, a photograph. It has a note. Little Caddy Show. There's a girl lit up by a spotlight in a music hall singing to live piano. Huh. I'm exhausted. Oh, May 8th, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the, for the day of the show, but he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. March 21st, 1843. Father got really mad at me and he started to shout when after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little bit in the street. More and more is he obsessed with Rehearsing with concerts with perfection. April 3rd, 1843. Am I not the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one people come all, from all over to see and admire? Is my name not the one on the printed on all the posters? My name. The dolls for sale at the theater entrance, they have my likeness, my dress, and my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, 1843. One more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So let's get out of here before some more shenanigans. An old wardrobe, okay? Let's get out of here before any more shenanigans go on. My reflection stares back at me through the grime. A portrait of a beautiful young dancer. All right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. There's a ladder? What the hell? Someone's laughing. Someone is laughing. Oh, oh, I don't like that. The doorknob is missing. Put it on. Oh, shit. Someone's in here. Yo. I don't like this, dude. Okay, so shut up. You're laughing. What are you laughing at? Wooden planks are blocking the window. I can only see part of the outdoor. A small, a big wall mirror. It's so covered in dust that I can't recognize my face, though. The laughter is, the laughter is coming from behind the curtains. 
I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. <laughs> it's a record. Yo. It's a porcelain doll with lifelike proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her featureless, but his wig shines brightly as though of human hair. Take it. So now I have a wig. All right. The record is scratched, it's repeating on loop. <laughs> it's crying now. <laughs> oh my God. Yo. <laughs> All right, let's get on out of here. Yo. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who in the Rudy Poo are you? A painting of a a painting of a beautiful young lady with peaceful ex with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. Okay. Hey yo, Chico. No, no, no. Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last note you screwed into me? Middle C up to A, measure G, go up to C. Tied, F, second violin, bar two, middle C up to A, double note E, G, C. No, this was supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C, up an octave, and then up to G. What, what, who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see I'm creating the angel's voice? The work, T C to A, an octave higher, a fragile voice flutters around the strophe. No, 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 no. Hands swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. Are you all right, sir? My inspiration, too, is lost, quite lost. In the fog, the notes moan, just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne, the best soloist that a composer could have, the voice of an angel. What, might, what made my music possible? She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dusk sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm, the sickness. It just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice. It came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. I'm following a man, though to come to think of it, maybe he is following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please. I need to get out of this place. You must ask me word for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music remains beautiful, but it's a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now, not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Okay. A tailor's mannequin. Why is it beside the window?
the wallpaper is torn. Okay. Paper bound in a roll. It seems to be a discarded musical score. A rolled up score of music. There are so many deletions and corrections that it's impossible to read. Okay. Notes F E D hold constantly down. What? What? I'm supposed to get something, but I can't. It says, make sure you you receive the option to ask about the, mollus the mausoleum and ask it. The, music the musician is, is distraught because his muse is gone. I didn't, did I get asked about that? I, I think I did. I, I don't know. Maybe I did. Well, anyhow, I'm out of here. If I did, I did. And if I didn't, I didn't. All right. This piano is so dusty. I dare say it has it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. There was a key hidden under the there was a key hidden under the key. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo, okay. All right. If I blow through the paper roll, maybe I could manage to make the feather fly. I got it, it's a big black feather with some gray spots on, in the base. That might be a crow's feather. All right, now we're out. Wait. It looks like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrawled so, so poorly as to make them illegible. All right, back down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is an elegant scarlet party dress inside. Take it. Hmm. I wonder if you have to put the wig and all that other stuff on that, um on that mannequin that was by the window. I bet that's what you have to do. I bet you that's what we have to do. All right. Let's, uh, let's get on downstairs. All right.
So we're out back out here. Mold covers the wood stacked in this shed. All right. Judging by the resin oozing on the surface of this tree trunk, it must it appears it it appears to have been recently chopped down. The resin is a thick and sticky liquid. I can't just pick it up with my hands. Uh, the feather? I managed to coat the feather with the resin. Okay. So, let's see if we can put this mask together then. I have stuck the pieces together with the resin. This face, it reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. Yeah, I think we have to put all this stuff down here on the mannequin. That's what I think we have to do. All right, let's see if we can go try it. I think that's what we have to do. So let's head on back upstairs. Is this the room? Nope. Okay. Yes, that, just right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. And now the dress. Daphne, you're back. Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again. And now I know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I must go. Look for the Samurg. For the what? Okay. He's actually playing his music now. Oh. Wait. What is the Samurg? It is what the crows are searching for. It is what you search for too. I, please, I need to get out of this place. In the fog, we have an eyes, but we count on our ears. To find your way, you must search the submerged. What is that? I still don't know what that is. All right.
The sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? A trail of soil leads from a sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coffin transported through here? We gotta go in there now? It's now or never. It's locked. I can't see anything through these dirty window panes. What was that? Uh Um I uh something tells me not to do anything about that so I'm just going to go over here because I'm a uh, I ain't got time for that. No, no, no. I ain't got time for that. So I'm just gonna go on mosey on through here. All right. So I guess. Oh, she's back to the sewer. Okay. Well, I'll go back then. Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole. Nope, nothing. Darkness and nothing more. What was that? Oh, hey! Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why? <coughs> Oh, why would you do such a thing to me? Why? Holy shice. Okay. I don't like this at all. Shice. With the help of River, the Nyad Daphne hid from the hid from sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin for strong bark, so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. A lot of dusty books, anatomy, history, science. All right. Oh, shit. All right. Myths and legends this time. Norse tale, Greek, ancient Sumer, uh, Sumer, Sumer, Sumerian? I don't know. Others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. Uh, hello, mister. I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. What are you doing here sitting in the dark? Why, I am reading these marvelous books. In the dark? But how can you see the words without any light? 
That is, a, that is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page, the words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know, so they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone, not since I found it here. I am just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Have you seen a man pass this way? He is red-haired, tall, and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, perusing the books. He would pick one up, one off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He and I never spoke, though. Why do you ask? I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he is guiding me towards something. That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through lost places. Can you tell me which books this man perused? Let me think. Ah, oh, yes. I recall his looking at the unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome. Very revealing and very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Oops. I don't want to do all that again. I don't care. No. No. Would you happen to know the importance of the meat or meaning of Samurg? Samurg. Samurg. Ah, uh, yes. The Bird King. There is a book of poetry here that makes mention of him. I'm sure you can find it here somewhere. Pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. Okay. Um... Let us continue on then. I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing a lullaby. She's singing, um, I don't know if you guys can hear, but she's singing, hush little baby, don't say a word, mama's gonna buy you a mocking, yeah. Okay, that's, that's always nice. That's always wonderful. Lullabies always mean something just fantastic in scary movies and games. Nursery rhymes and lullabies are the thing you want to look for in scary movies because they mean something wonderful, right? A book lies on the floor. Its spine reads, Unexplored Places of the Empire. A page has been marked. The Place of the Eternal Fog, also known as Xyla. It is a unique bay in the east of Baleshwar, near the jungles of Belenga, Bengala, sorry. It's, it is surrounded by tall, snow-capped mountains. Usually covered in mist, the waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. Okay. So, what on earth do we do now? What in the soul lord is this? I feel like I don't want to even explore this tree. So I'm not gonna. On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Xyla. The page to which was open has been torn out, but the remaining fragment identifies a song titled The Search for the Submerge. Huh. I'm 
I'm listening. Hmm. Something didn't sound right for a second. That's why I was listening. I see something caught on the branches. It appears to be a page torn from the book below. I can't grab it. All right. I'm in an underground area now. All right. Whew. Even though this game is low res, it sure can be scary. Jeez. Wow. I, I still hear that lady. There's a note partly obscured by mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me, coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes caked with mud and full of holes. Huh. The dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers the surface and there is a great crack along its length. Whoa. The violin has disappeared among the roots as if swallowed up. The trunk seems to be expanding. That noise came from above. Okay. Well, let's get on up out of here then. Where is that where is that singing coming from? That's my question. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to go. Do not fall asleep. Shisa. I have to find that gypsy lady again. Nope. Never mind. Okay. All right, let's get on out. paper sheet captured in the branch in the branches is now within my reach on the page is a strange poem first into the wind they sought for the king but lost with the birds 
they wept in suffering and flew to the sea compelled by a need. They found their silence. Their quest was complete. Huh. Okay. Parchment. Swallow it, man. I got lost in the fog. If I am to wake my way, if I am to make my way through, I will need to orient myself somehow. Oh, I did something wrong. All right. So according to this walkthrough, we have to use the parchment as a guide to help us get through. So. So, first we listen to the wind, then we listen for the birds, then we listen for the sea, and then silence. So, we have to listen to those, to all of those, for all of those, in order. So, there are doorways that we can't see, so we have to listen out for those. So I hear birds. I think this is the wind. All right. So now we hear the sea, so that's not it. So we have to listen for birds now. So we have to keep going. All right, the birds are here. All right, so now we listen for the sea. I think we're going this way, in this direction now. That's the wind. All right.
Okay, now we listen for silence. All right, let's go this way then. Perfect. We don't hear anything now. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, now, we're going to go, I guess, this way. the heck all right your ticket please all this time I've been following you and you just wanted a damn ticket take the goddamn ticket damn it Thank you. Please come in. What the? Huh? You know what? You know what? Your butt. Okay. Your butt. Ooh, the four witnesses. All right. Okay. So, we made it to the place where we were supposed to be, I guess. All right. This is an awesome game. This is the best game I've played on my channel ever. Like, by far, this is the best game I've played on my channel ever. This is awesome. And we're here. So now what? Oh. Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? I am Alexander. What is this all about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own with, with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Uh True philosophy? True philosophy. Indeed. It was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. Am I supposed to be calling him Seth? I don't even know anymore. There is no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again, but we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel them beckoning? I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on, the stage is set, and soon you will meet the actors. Welcome. 
Oh, hey. That was the recordings I heard from earlier. This belongs to you. Uh. Um. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Dearest her, Dr. Wakefield, if you are reading this, then I, then you have followed my instructions to arrive and at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded a certain and unanticipated degree of attention. I have under, I have determined that your patient, Seth, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is of, is of the utmost importance. Your friend, Johan Kaufman. Wow. What? I thought this was chapter three. What is it? What do they mean? The adventure continues in chapter three. What? Don't you mean chapter four? Well, I am going to do more of this today, chapter four. Uh, apparently this game has eight chapters and um, I'm going to be gone. So I won't be able to do the other half. So um, when I get back, I'm going to continue with this game because this game is absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to play this game some more later after I upload this. So, yeah, but this is an awesome game. I love it so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Stay sweet.